Hey, welcome back to our channel. Glad you stopped by. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that a lot of people have asked me about, and I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I wanted to make sure that I had all my ducks in a row and I knew exactly what I wanted to say and what was the best advice given to me for studying for the DAT. So, please stay tuned because you will not regret watching this video. Super informative. So first, let me say that I would call myself a very experienced DAT taker because I've taken the DAT three times. And the first two times, it's not that it bad, but I got a nine, not 19, sorry, 18 academic average on the first two, and then a 22 academic average on the third one. And so there's a dramatic increase among all of my, um, all of the subjects. And I've tried various methods and finally figured out what worked for me on the third try. You know, third try is a charm. Third time is a charm, <laughs> is what they say. Um, so let's get right into it. The first thing I would recommend that you do is figure out what works for you, what method that is works for you. So whether it's self-study, online courses, or in-person tutor, figure out what is gonna make, like, be most effective for you because you don't wanna be studying for a super long time if you can help it. The first time I took the DAT, I used a Kaplan online study course. And um, long story short, it wasn't for me. Um, and I'm not dogging on Kaplan or anything like that, but that method of studying didn't really do much for me. And then the Kaplan practice questions, they weren't difficult enough for me. They weren't um, like what I saw on the actual exam. And so um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, some people it works for fine and they do great on the ADAT, but that alone did not work for me. The last two times I studied a little bit differently. I did self-study and that worked significantly better for me but I know people who did personal tutors who did it online and who did self-study and they all you know were successful successful in their own right and so again what way do you learn the fastest and best you have to figure that out for yourself the second thing is and I kind of mentioned it a little bit make sure whenever you're doing whatever problems or system you're using whether it's Kaplan, DT Bootcamp, DT Destroyer, Crack the Dot, whatever Make sure they're at least a little bit more difficult than what you expect to see on the DAT. And what that will do is what is, is over prepare you for the DAT so that when you finally get to the exam, you're like, oh, this is a lot easier than what I expected. I know all that and you get, you get through it super fast. And um, there's less anxiety like, oh, am I actually prepared for the types of questions they're gonna ask? If you study with questions that are a little bit harder, um, you will do better on the exam. And that's what I did on the third exam, which I used DAT Destroyer. And man, that book, oh, I love it. I love it, but I hate it. It's about this thick, and it just has like hundreds and hundreds of math, um, biology, organic chemistry, general chemistry. Um, I might be forgetting a section, but I think it has all the science courses. Um, has all like hundreds and hundreds of them, and they're typically much more difficult than what you'll find on the actual DAT. So what it does is it over prepares you. So when you get to the DAT, it's a breeze. So definitely, definitely try and find um, some resources that will challenge you more. And for me, that was a DAT destroyer. The third thing I wanna tell you guys about is that is something that I know people who did this and as a result, they did not do as well as they wanted in a certain section is do not neglect a certain subject just because you're good at it or because you feel secure about it. Um, one of the section that I felt secure about was uh, PAT, perceptual ability, and kinda um, math, I felt pretty good about it, but especially PAT and reading comprehension because everybody underestimates reading comprehension. Do not underestimate reading comprehension. I'm gonna repeat that, do not underestimate reading comprehension. It's not difficult, but if you neglect it, if you don't, your brain's not trained to, you know, process large, um, really deep scientific articles in a short amount of time, 
it can prove to be a real stumbling block on the exam. But yes, so in order to not neglect a certain subject, what I did was I, when I would study, if I would never study just one subject each day. I would always rotate. And of course, I would focus more on the subjects that I was in, had more issues with, like biology and general chemistry and organic chemistry. Um, but I would always like throw in a little bit of PAT, throwing a, throw in like one passage of reading comprehension a day, just so that I don't forget like um, what methods I use to go through those sections. And so I keep my time up, you know, or keep it down actually, because you want to do it as fast as possible. And so definitely do not neglect subjects that you're good at. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean that under the testing environment, the pressure, the anxiety, that you might not trip up. Prepare yourself fully. Number four, I did not do this until my third exam when I did well. I never isolated myself completely. Um, and for different people, that looks differently. For me, it, was, it wasn't... I mean, I did delete, delete like my Instagram for a little while, but it wasn't even really that. It was that I left my house and studied elsewhere. First two exams, I studied at home in my room or at the dining table. And there were so many distractions at home, like so, so many things that, you know, like my dog, my brother, my mom, my dad, the pantry, the kitchen, food, you know, it was just so distracting. So what I did is I would go to Starbucks every day and just find a little corner and um, study for four, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe sometimes, barely nine. Usually I'd study on average about at least four hours a day. And it would vary depending on what else I had going on that day and what else, or how I felt about a certain subject. But um, isolating yourself and enabling yourself to only focus on the material at hand is super helpful and I highly encourage it um, and it's not it's not for forever I did this for about three weeks or so I had been studying for the DAT prior to that but my high intent my real studying was only about like three four weeks granted I had taken the DAT twice before so it might be, be different for other people taking the DAT for the first time but make sure if you study at Starbucks hint, do not drink a lot of frappuccinos because <laughs> that's what I did and my face broke out and I got a ton of cavities and I was like wait I don't understand what's going on Chris you about to be a dentist and so you don't understand what's going on <laughs> had a lot of sugar be careful what you're putting into your body <laughs> essentially like don't neglect your health work out if you can play sports if you can don't neglect that don't completely isolate yourself the fifth thing is Make sure, and this is so, 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 so important. Probably one of the most important things I'm gonna tell you. Make sure you take as many practice exams as possible. Like, a lot. And what I used was DAT Bootcamp. I feel like DAT Bootcamp is like the most accurate depiction of what the DAT is gonna be like. It is so spot on. It's crazy. It's like. Not, like if you go through DAT bootcamp and you get through it fine easily, you should be okay for the DAT. You should be perfectly fine. Um, and that's just because they're awesome. And what the most awesome thing that they have is they have time tests. So not do, only do they have time subject tests, but they have timed full length tests. Now the DAT is a long test, right? It's like about four or five hours, right? You're gonna need that stamina. You need to build up your stamina. So from day one, the first thing you do when you start studying for the DAT, take a practice exam. It's okay if you if you like completely like blow at you know the exam. Just take that exam to gauge where you're at, okay? And see your progress throughout the week. So I would take one like every few days. So I'd end up taking like twice two a week just because I was only studying for three, four weeks or so, and there were like 10 practice tests. So I would take um, about two every week and just, and then just like take the rest of the day off and then review the next day. What did I miss? What can I improve on? Et cetera, et cetera. And with DAT Bootcamp, I went through every single subject test and practice test that they had. Um, I did not want to take the DAT for a fourth time. So I went through everything and man, that was, I think, the best tool. That and DAT Destroyer were the most critical tools that I could have used for studying for the DAT. 
Um, so make sure you do that. It will help build up your stamina and um, you'll just get a real feel for what the exam is like. Wait for the plane to pass. Wait for the plane to pass. The plane is passing. <sighs> it sucks living near an airport. <laughs> Hey, this lighting though, okay. Um, okay. Number six, and the final piece of advice that I have to give, and I also think it's extremely important, is that you should not feel pressure to study like how other people are studying. There are tons of people on YouTube and elsewhere that are gonna tell you, yeah, I studied for like three months, like this many hours each day, or other people are like, oh yeah, I study for 12 hours a day or eight hours a day, every single day. And I, for sure, felt pressure to study the same way. But I am, like my philosophy about studying for big things is really, is more to study efficiently and effectively. Like, so what is that phrase that people say? They say, work smarter, not harder. And that is my philosophy. I'm trying to live my best life. I still had a social life. I still did activities with my friends. Well, not really when I was studying for BIT, actually. I kind of neglected them. <laughs> um, Saturdays, I, I did what I wanted. But everyone is gonna, it's like studying for BIT is gonna look different for everyone. So do not base yourself and like what you should do based on what someone else did. Because some people can study for this for like one week. Other people, it takes them months. And so you have to kind of know yourself and figure out, okay, like I know that I process things a little bit more slowly or I need more time to digest things. So take that time. Do not feel pressure to do this in a week or two weeks. Like I said, this is my third time taking the DAT. And so I'm a little bit different. You're gonna learn so much about yourself and how you best study at the end of this experience. And um, so just take time to really you know, see what works for you. And again, just know yourself, like Drake said, the great poet Drake once said, know yourself. <laughs> that is all I have for you today. Again, if you have any further questions about the DOT, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm more than happy to answer. And to the people that asked for this video, I'm glad I finally got it to you. I hope you guys are satisfied. And if you need anything else, please let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions on other dental school videos that you want to see, like I realize that you guys really like like the vlogs and stuff. So I'm going to try and do more things like that. Um, but to those of you who are getting ready to take the DT, you got this, okay? You like you, the goal is to only take it once. <laughs> Clearly, I took it three times. But um, the goal is only to take it once. And um, so just put your all into it. Dedicate your entire life to it just for that short amount of time. And trust me, it will be so worth it. And you'll be so proud of yourself. So good luck studying and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and do all those things because our channel is growing and I'm really excited. And I'm really excited to spread dental school knowledge with as many people as I can and share my experience. But yes, again, thank you so much. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <sighs> Yo, eyelashes on bleak. <laughs> Bye.